guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And today we are here with Disney Parks Wishables Collectible Pin Packs. That's right. These things are worth their weight in gold. Yep. At least they were when we bought them. Ooh, Pin Pack Paul. <laughs> pin Pack Paul and Spend a Lot Shannon. <laughs> 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 Which is actually kind of funny because Paul spends more than I do. Like Paul. Generally, yes. Paul sources most <laughs> of our stuff. I actually sourced these because we yeah. couldn't go to Disney Parks. So we bought these online on eBay. So... We paid we above retail. We did. That's okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. But we enjoy opening them with you guys, so we figured it would be worth it. So we have five packs, and each pack contains five different pins. Now, there are 16 different pin designs to collect. You can see them all there. You can see the retail price, which is not what we paid. But here are the pins. Who? Which pin do you want the most? That's pretty tough. It um, is tough. I think I want the bride from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, that's funny, because I'm yeah. going with the Hatbox Ghost. Okay. L now, so let's pick a different ride, a different character, since we both okay. picked so, Haunted Mansion. So, then I've got to go with Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Rabbit? Yeah, from Splash Mountain. Okay. If our son was here, he would pick Br'er Fox. True. Definitely. I'm going to go with Jack Sparrow. Okay. As my other one. So Sounds good. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to open this first one since I'm holding it. We're going to open all five packs with yeah. you today. And, oh, they are blind bag. I oh, was nice. thinking okay. they weren't blind bag inside. So. Okay. Well, here. <laughs> there we go. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do it this way. Are you just going to mix them all up? Yeah. So, because sometimes you get packs that are the same. Yeah. This way we won't know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open the first one. Yeah, you do that. And let's see who it is. Oh, it's Sven. Sven. Sven is super cute. Some Frozen Ever After. Yep. So there's little Sven. Now you can also get Olaf as a pin in this series. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out since Paul just dumped all those. And can you put our pin board... I sure pin. can, yes. And then we'll put our pins up on there. Yep. So, cute little Sven. Pin Sven's board. a good way to start. Now, these do have the Mickey Mouse pin back and then the official pin trading logo on the back. Yep. So, you can trade these at the box. That's true. <laughs> if they're doing the pin trading. Well, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Haven't been to the park, so I don't know. All right, now we're just going to go one and one, even if we get duplicates. Just okay, sounds know. good. All right, here we go. I do not have a Sven, so have somebody different. We'll have Yay! Jack Sparrow. Jack. So Jack from Pirates of the Caribbean, one of my favorite rides at Disney World um, and Disneyland. Very cool. So there is Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, hold your hand down a little bit. Yeah. Jack and Jack. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Jack and Jack. Two Jacks per video. Yep. Very cool. Jack is having quite the nap over there. Yeah. He's very sleepy. Okay. We have a different one. We have Tigger, Tigger. which is kind of like Jack, yep. a little orange cat. Sort of, kind of. We had a Tigger. You yeah, did. We had an orange cat, and his name was Tigger. Yep. Because we let our, at the time, five year old name him. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh was one of his favorite shows. So oh, it was yeah. like Tigger. There you go. <laughs> I think that's Tigger and Tiger are the most common names for orange cats. Tiger is the, is the number one. Tigger was number two. Yep. At the time. At it might have time. changed now. Yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, I have a brayer. A brayer. I have a brayer. I have a brayer fox. So, brayer fox. He's cute. He is cute. Yeah, he's an awesome, cute, wishable. Um, he's got like kind of a long skinny body and the plush stuffed animals. So, but he makes a really cute wishable because they're all kind of the same size and kind of squished down. Yeah. Now what's going to be strange is, you know, he's going away from the ride. That's true. <laughs> they yeah. all are. So yeah. there's not going to be, you know, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, yeah, Br'er Bear. Yeah, retheming it Tiana. Yep. So. I think they should have just left Br'er Frog and called it Tiana and and call it a day. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to miss Splash Mountain the way it is, but I'm actually really looking forward to seeing it with the Princess and the Frog Me redo. Too. I don't know when that's scheduled to yeah. happen, but I think it could look really, really cool. And I think it's awesome because, you know, Tiana, she wants to open up a restaurant and everything. Yeah. I think if the ride breaks down or gets delays while you're on it, somebody should come out and serve beignets. 
They should. Well, we had talked about that. You know, you should go through, like, near the end of the ride, they should, like, pump beignet scent. Mm -hmm. And then when you get off the ride, they have the little gift shop at the end where you could buy Slash Mountain photos and stuff. It should be a little bake shop selling beignets. Oh, that'd be smart, yeah. Yeah. Hey, the the bride! bride. So we do not want to go through a gift shop with the bride and her hatchet (laughs) at the end. That would not be good. Okay, she... (laughs) She had uh, plastic on her still. Yeah. Okay, so Constance. Yep, Constance. Constance. She's right. really creepy. She is. But it's awesome. Yeah. It's creepy in an awesome way. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, Haunted Mansion's my favorite yeah. ride. All right. This feels like a thin pin. Oh, it is. Okay. Now it makes sense. We have Olaf. Oh, cute. So we have Olaf to oh, go with Sven. Oh, we should have saved Sven. room. Yeah, we should have, but... Okay. All right, Olaf yeah. to go with Sven. Don't want to brag, but Olaf and I have a connection on Frozen Ever After. He looks right at me. It's like he's looking in my little soul. <laughs> so, very cool. Okay, he has room to go next to Sven now. I left okay. room for their mates. Okay, cool. What you doing there, Jack? Did you wake up? Okay, I think I might have a duplicate Tigger. Tigger. Okay. Come on, maybe I can find Winnie the Pooh. Yes. Tigger's buddy. Oh, I have a duplicate also. I have a duplicate of Constance the Bride. Ooh, okay. So we have 25 pins here and we need 16. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely doable, but it it could be tough. We can't get too many duplicates Mm -hmm. here. Okay, oh no, <laughs> as I'm talking about too many duplicates, we have another, another Tigger. I don't mind having lots of Tiggers. Yeah. Tigger's cute. T.I. Doubleger duplicate. Yay! Oh, there's your Pooh Bear. Have a Pooh Bear. So there's Pooh Bear. Now, Winnie the Pooh is actually celebrating an anniversary this year. I forget. I think it's like the 60th. 65 or 60? Yeah, something. Or yeah. Something or crazy, I think. Disney's right? Winnie the Pooh is celebrating, celebrating an anniversary. Yes. Winnie the Pooh has been around even longer. So very cute. Also very inappropriate. Wearing a shirt, no pants. Disney didn't create Winnie the Pooh? No. Disney created almost none of their yeah, products. They're just really good at marketing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it was written by A.A. A. Milne? Yeah. Is that how you say it? Mm-hmm. When did Winnie the Pooh come out? I think the early, 19, early 1900s or late 1800s. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, Pooh Bear! Bear. (laughs) All of our duplicates are Winnie the Pooh people. And a a constant. Oh, yeah, you have a constant hiding somewhere. Oh, I have a Brer. Brer Bunny. Brer Rabbit. (laughs) So I love Brer Rabbit because I love the big feet. Brer Bunny. It looks like one of the big big feet plush that Disney does. Yes. So Brer Rabbit is super cute. Bunny toes. Yep. I have never met the character Br'er Rabbit at Disney World. I was going to, and somebody <laughs> came up. And somebody ch- stole Paul's Stole my chance. spot. Stole my chance. Chatted with him for like 10 minutes, and then he had to go. <laughs> Paul's not at all angry about it or bitter. Yeah. I actually think it might have been another YouTuber. I suspect it was, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, next up, another duplicate for me. I have Olaf. All right. I'm getting all the duplicates here. Yeah, you are. Oh, I have a duplicate. I have a duplicate of Br'er Rabbit. Oh, okay. Right there. So we had some packs that were the same. It's a good thing you mixed them all up. Yeah. Let's mix some more. Okay. Jack, you're kind of freaking me out. He's sleeping with his eyes open because he was snoring a minute ago. Now he's awake. He's like, what? You said my name. Oh, this plastic is stuck. Okay, come on. Somebody different. Oh, I think it's somebody different. I think so. No, it's not. It's (laughs) Constance again, the bride. That messed me up. I thought that was going to be somebody new. Okay, I'll save that one for Shannon. should open that one next. Okay. In the meantime, I'll open this one. Oh, I think I have somebody new. I do! Awesome. I have Nemo. Woohoo! There's Nemo. It's like the little Nemo wish old. It's got the one big fin, one little fin. Looking straight at you. It's like... Looking into your soul. Yep. I don't know any jokes. (laughs) 
So there's little Nemo clownfish. Okay, so Paul already started this one. Yes. Said I needed to open it. Yes, thank you. It's the Hatbox Ghost. You're welcome. Does he, I feel like he has another name too besides the Hatbox Ghost, or is uh, he just the Hatbox Ghost? I think it's just the Hatbox Ghost. Well, I'm, we got to see him one time when we went to Disneyland, like, uh, almost, ah, almost two years ago now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, end of 2019. Yeah, no, mid-2019, August. August. Yeah, late August. So he was really, really cool, and I love him, and they need to put him in the Disney World Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I don't think they're ever going to do that. Well, they should. Yeah. They should also turn it into the Nightmare Before Christmas Haunted Mansion at the holidays time. Honestly, I'm cool with them not doing that. Really? Yeah. I like it. Okay. Anyway, okay, Hatbox Ghost, thank you for letting me open him. You're He's welcome. awesome. He awesome. He's going to go right here. Okay, here we go. Do you have somebody new? I think I might. Who are you? The helmsman. <laughs> so he's cool. He is really cool. Skeleton toes. Yep, skeletos. <laughs> skeletos. Skeletos. Hey, you should make some shoes or socks and call them skeletos. They already are made. They're called that though? Yeah, the, the, the feet. The that, feet. Oh, uh, they're called skeletos. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't think about it until I said skeletos, but yeah. yeah. Yep, well, skeletos. Somebody stole my idea way ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> Hate it when that happens. Okay. No, hey, we're doing good with the matches here. No offense if you guys like those kind of shoes, because I know a lot of people do, but they kind of freak me out. Not from, like, looking at them or other people wearing them, but me thinking of wearing them myself. Like, putting my toes into little... Like, their socks like that, too, or shoes, mm -hmm. where each toe goes into its own little space, like gloves. It kind of bothers me. Like, I don't know if I could do it, but I don't like wearing shoes, You don't period. like wearing shoes or socks. Yeah. You like just being barefoot. <laughs> you would have been good in the Flintstones. <laughs> Great. Thanks. <laughs> hey, just calling it like I say it. <laughs> For somebody that doesn't like to wear shoes, I have quite the shoe collection. Yes. I've... Hey, Dory! All right, quick change of the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak well? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dory. <laughs> Hi, Dory. <laughs> so here is Dory. You weren't talking about shoes. You were talking about Dory. <laughs> I guess. So Dory is cute. Yeah, Dory is really cute. And we have another match. So now everybody has a match. Yep. So we are we looking should for... just stop right now. We're looking for the Buzz Lightyear people and the Ariel. Yep. Uh, Ariel. Oh, and wow, and that's it. Yep. Okay, this is going to be a duplicate of the Hatbox Ghost. Uh -oh. I saw the top hat. So we need four, and we only have five packs. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Well. going to be tough. That is going to be tough. Or it might be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. If you know what YouTube channel that's from, you can leave it in the comments. One of our new favorites. Yeah. The Helmsman! Okay. Not to be confused with Hellman's. It's which good is, mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> They uh, probably make stuff besides mayonnaise, too. Probably, but I'm sure it's not nearly Ooh. as uh, profitable or big as market share. So right, we are not going to get the full set. No, we're not. So we're down to three pins. But everybody has a match. It's funny, even my duplicates have wow. a match. Wow. Oh, I another have Brer. another Brer Fox. Okay. Come on, one more new one at least. No, I have a Sven. Okay, so is this going to be an Olaf? To go with Sven? You have an Olaf over there. I do have an Olaf. Okay, come on, somebody new, somebody new. It's not somebody new, it's a Nemo. Oh, wow. Okay, so Nemo doesn't have a match. Nope. That's pretty wild. Everybody we got has a match, and we didn't get anybody from Buzz Lightyear or Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Yep. Interesting. All okay, right. Time to pick favorites. You can go first. This is tough. Very, very tough. It is tough because they're all awesome. I think I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to go with the Helmsman. Mmm, nice. Yeah, I like the Skeletos. Brer Rabbit's really cute, but I've got I've got some, some issues to work out with Brer um, Rabbit. <laughs> and, and he's still and, feeling yeah, left out. And he's incredibly cute, but I like the Helmsman the best. Okay, the so Helmsman would not diss me and not... not well, Jack Sparrow didn't. No, he didn't. He Jack and I had a, had a good conversation. Yeah, so you 
took somebody's time with Jack the way somebody took your time with Br'er. No, I didn't. Because if you guys don't know, at Disneyland, some of the characters are roaming characters. So you can't just get in line to meet them. They just kind of walk around and they don't really stop. So that's why Paul missed out on Br'er. Paul was trying to, like, wait in line and be the good character greeter person. And it didn't work for him. Jack, everybody was trying to get to stop because he was awesome. I mean, he was really, really good. And Paul happened to be wearing a Pirates of the Caribbean redhead shirt that day. But you can't get anymore. You can't get anymore. And it's also very subtle. Like, it's not an in-your-face pirate shirt. So, uh... Jack likes it. Jack saw it, and then he's like, where's my, you know, gentleman with the... Yeah. The redhead shirt, you know, come with me. And they walked, like, through half of Disneyland together. And I was, like, struggling to keep up because I had burnt feet. <laughs> and I was chasing them. Yeah, but it was us. awesome. <laughs> I did. I had skeletons. <laughs> it, it was pretty awesome. Now, just to let you guys know, Jack, I did not take anybody's time with Jack. I Jack know. graciously gave up some of his rum drinking time to spend with me. Is that what it was? That's what it was. You guys should have went and had some rum drinks together. I think you would have done that. <laughs> All right, so um, I was going to say, let's pick one. You picked kind of like a a grumpy character or a villain character kind of thing. So pick your cute character, too. Constance. Constance? She's a villain character. You can go with Br'er. I got issues. So who's your cute one going to be? Well, if I was going with cute, I would have to go with with Br'er Rabbit. He's just super cute. So I'm going to go with Hatbox Ghost as my more like villainy or evil Mm character. If you will, character. And I'm going with Tigger as okay. my cute, sweet character. All right. Good picks. How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That'll make you part of the Collector Corner Club where you got a whole lot more exposition in this video <laughs> than you thought you might. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.